Hello everyone, we're in Endurance Laser Lab. Today we're going to show you how to do etching on aluminum and using our El Chipo laser. Okay, let's rock. Okay, first of all we take the brush and clean the metal part to make sure that it's gonna be quite smooth. Then we take the fat away so we have to polish it and make sure that it's clean enough. Okay, you can polish it with with a fabric or a napkin. Well it's really up to you. Okay now we take um, we'll, we'll, we'll take this and we have to make sure that no air yeah I, I forgot to say that we take scotch and we have to make sure that snow oh, just, yeah just regular tape Okay, we make sure that no air is inside. It has to be very, very accurate. So no air. Okay. Seems to be right. Now we put it on DIY from how oh endurance DIY engraving machine and we set up for zero zero point okay yeah you see that it has to be placed accurately and we are ready to start the GBL program so we start the program and the laser starts working so meanwhile we take a water fill uh, and now we add some regular salt yeah don't be surprised it's Russian salt but you can buy it anywhere so it's regular salt and we add salt into the water so it's about Two, three spoons have to be in this amount of water. It's probably uh, one liter or about that of water. And you can see we still do this engraving. Meanwhile, Boris shakes this cocktail like James Bond cocktail but without vodka and martini just salt and water oh well the concentration should be enough well we'll see okay now this is power adapter from a average TV set so uh, we take white wire and plug it to the electrode. We made it our own electrode. And we put it into the water. Okay. The next step is turn off our engraving machine. We did it. Now you can see the image. Let me make it in focus. You can see that we wrote an endurance here. Okay, what is the next step? What is? Next step is to clean it. Just to rem remove this tape. So normally tape consists of plastic and the glue. So we will make it will make it clean. Okay. Okay, let me show it. 
it's almost ready. Now we have to remove the, the rest of the tape and prepare a place where we'll connect a red wire. Okay, ready to connect. Okay, now is connected and we insert it into the water salted water and make sure that it's fixed and it's quite stable now we turn on the power and let's see inside sparkling water is sparkling it means that the process started. It'll probably take us about two, three minutes to engrave on that amount. We actually used 12 volts power supply and it probably about one amp um, of the power. So it's not so big, so you can do it actually in your home or in your small in your small workshop. Okay. You can see that the program we used GBL or GRBL software. It's quite simple. We like it because you can also have it in the 3D the name of the word that was engraved. Okay, you see that water changes its color and you can see that the name, our logo, appears on, on, on this side. I'll try to make it focused here. Yeah, you can see it, it here. Sparkling. And water will change its color as well. Yeah, make sure that uh, wires are not hitting the water, just it'll be quite safe. So it has to be very flexible. Oh, not, not flexible, but very fixed. Yes, this is... Krasny plus? Yes, red is plus, white is minus. So don't, don't, don't change it. So the one where you want to engrave should be plus and another electrode is minus. So it's quite simple. So we can probably show already the result in a few seconds. And normally it takes like two, three minutes, but it depends on the depth of engraving, how deep you want it to be engraved. So less is better picture, better image, uh, deeper inside is, is blurring. So if you want to make it really deep, but don't put it for an hour, <laughs> your aluminum part will just disappear, it'll just melt inside this, this. Yeah, I already can show you another result that we made before, and it's, it looks like this, and, but don't, don't worry, we'll show you at the end, too long. It's, it took uh, yeah, but it's it saying shot. that one shot. Okay, so this takes about yes two three minutes. So you see, it's not so deep. So we made different experiments. Okay, let's see what what in our bottle. Actually, we we turn the power off and we remove it. Yes, now we have to remove the film. The tape from it probably takes some some time. You can see that it's not so difficult. You can do it at home. You can do it in your garage. You can become really a master of engraving at your home with endurance El Cheapo lasers because they are quite powerful to cut this film and it's where you need an accuracy okay but is removing it 
yeah, we didn't place it accurately, so you see that it's a little bit okay. Yeah, you see it, it's really nice, isn't it? So, share this video with your friends, sign up on our channel, and visit our websites endurancerobots.com and endurancelasers.com. And have a wonderful day. Bye bye.